hello dear students today we'll start a new topic of this chapter that is types of solution we'll start with the understanding of the various kinds of solutions and their impact on cell we'll discuss one by one definition along with examples so first of solution is known as isotonic solution so when we take this one isotonic solution iso the meaning of the iso means same and tonic word is for the solution whenever we have the same concentration of water and a solute as in as inside a cell so when inside a cell there is also a solvent and various kind of solute so when the same concentration is there it means outside of cell and inside of cell the concentration is same so that kind of solution is known as isotonic solution so whenever we have the same kind of concentration you know that was uh, that there is no movement of solvent and in this way will not have any kind of change of the shape of cell so that is the property of the isotonic solution i hope you have understood iso means always remember iso means same and tonic means solution so what is same concentration is same outside and inside cell when concentration is same so outside what solution is there that solution is known as isotonic solution then the next one is we have hypotonic and hypertonic let's take the definition first hypo means we have a less so what is less solute concentration is less so whenever we have the less solute concentration it means that solvent is more that is a common understanding hypo means less solute concentration and whenever we have a less solute concentration what is we have the other side that is more solvent concentration is there so that kind of solution is known as hypotonic solution where solute is less and solvent is more see that one next one is hypertonic solution so hyper means more and tonic means solution so what is more here solute concentration is higher higher solute concentration so when we have the higher solute concentration obviously solvent is becoming less let's take example of that solution when we are adding sugar into water so when we have the one spoon of uh, sugar into water that kind of solution is known as hypotonic less lower solute it means less solute and when we are uh, adding six spoon seven spoon so it means that solute is becoming more and that solvent is becoming less so that kind of solution is uh, that uh, with mixing of the solute it is becoming concentrated are you getting my point so whenever we have the change in the nature of the solution and when we have the placing of a plant cell in a various solution we know that that uh, the movement from higher concentration to lower concentration is there it means the solvent molecules can move from higher concentration to lower concentration through semi permeable membrane because we are talking about plant cells plant cells are having semi semi permeable membrane so when we change in solution there is a change in the plants cells appearance it means they may shrink uh, they may swell so we'll discuss one by one first take we'll take about isotonic solution so when we have isotonic solution and when we have placing of any plant cells what is happening in isotonic solution both side the concentration is same so whenever we have the same concentration we know that will not have any kind of change and cell is having their normal shape that is the concept my dear students now when we have a change in solution 
it means when cell is placing into hypertonic solution let's take the first example hypertonic solution that seven spoon of sugar into water so it means the concentration of solute is more and uh, we know that cells are also having solution inside them see that one uh, that is the cytoplasm cytoplasm is having water and various other substances dissolve in it so whenever any normal cell is placed into the hypertonic solution what is happening that the outside solvent is less it means outside water is less and inside water is more and because we are talking about plant cells so what is happening x osmosis will happen it means that one from the cell water is coming out see in this diagram when this this normal cell is placed into a solution this is a solution when we uh, when we assume this normal cell is placed in a solution and we don't know about the nature of the solution after some times what we are observing that uh, water is coming out from the cell so we can clearly say it is hypertonic solution because water can come out when we have that is more solute concentration here and less solvent less water that is the reason for the movement of water from the cell it means the concentration of water is more inside the cell and we have the movement of higher concentration to lower concentration in that context this solution is known as hypertonic hypertonic higher solute concentration less water concentration that's why water is coming out from the cell and this process is a biological process we call plasmolysis plasmolysis it means we have the shrinking of the cell cell shrinks you can see here we can observe that shrinkage of cells we have that is shrinkage of cells this is vacuole vac vacuole is also having water so water will come out from the vacuole vacuole will shrink and this uh, that one this plasma membrane cell membrane is also leaving that space you can see leaving that space and it is shrinking so plasmolysis is leading cell to shrink that is the concept and uh, it is happening when any cell is placed in hypertonic solution so what do we need when we have that one when we need this cell to be normal so when we place this cell in a solution where we have uh, more water and less solute that is the concept we have that one hypotonic solution this one hypo means that uh, less solute whenever we have the less solute we will have a more solvent and then we will have end osmosis it means the entry of water inside the cell from outside and that process we call deplasmolysis it means that plasmolyzed cells are getting their original shape whenever they are placed into hypotonic solution let's make that this diagram also this is a plasmolyzed cell and when it is placing into a hypotonic solution it means water is more outside so we will have the movement of the higher concentration to lower concentration it means water will enter into the cell water will enter into the cell and then we have the that one swelling of the cell it means cells are getting their original shape and that process is known as deplasmolysis this uh, is the description of all three kinds of solutions and their effects upon cell
so it is having a great biological importance will take in the next video all importance of plasmolyzed cell but whenever you will get uh, any diagram based questions based on these three kinds of solution try to focus on the movement of the solvent it means movement of the water because osmosis is telling about movement of solvent from higher concentration to lower concentration what you need to solve in this these kinds of questions only you need to get right that where is the high concentration of solvent water then you can get where is the movement where will be the movement of water so it's uh, very easy when you get the concept and uh, i'm here to make you understand concepts of biology i hope you are understanding so in next video we'll discuss about the importance of plasmolysis thank you everyone